It will be radical. You're right. <laughs> that ad is so stupid. I love it. Oh, it's because I don't have it up. If my controller just not working again. Oh, wait, no, it's working. We in there. We're playing it. We're playing games. Meanwhile, patched. Let's move it. Oh, no, cyber formed. Look at that cold, unfeeling photo. Oh, yeah. So when we got back in here, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. The plasma core is in overdrive, and it's powering the Insecticon. We've got to find a way to shut it down. Too late. The core rupture is distorting it. Shotty Constructicon repair has failed. The leak is causing a gravitational anomaly that's sucking us in. Well, time to run. Oh god! <laughs> that stuff will hit you, so be careful! Move it! I'm not worried about this Crim Zeke. I'm more worried about, like, you know, not dying. Ah! Come on, man! I just sent you all the way back at the beginning! I think, yeah. It super does. This is actually pretty hard. Ah! No! Ah! Oh. Come on, if I can just make it through. Oh, no! I was right! Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna have to see what happens when this thing runs out of time. This, is, this might be a, a, a... I'll probably just end up gaming over. Oh, God, I, I can't even dodge. If I do, I just die. Yeah, this this uh this ain't working. I gotta change to a car, I think. Unless, hold on. Oh, I'm gonna be the sickest in the world if I make it. Nope, it's too late. No, I died. Let me try that again. I can do it. I can do it for real. I just gotta. I got much of a choice there, Grims. Go, 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 So I was rewatching uh, bits of um, War for Cybertron. Oh, come on, man. I, I like the uh, the of Cybertron games. They're they're pretty fun. They're like pretty neat uh, third-person shooters. I've only really played the first two. Oh, there's a third one that's kind of related, but like I haven't played it because it's got movie stuff in it. And uh, looking at that drift in that game will honestly just give me heartburn. Because it's bad. Movie drift sucks. It's like, how many times can drift say honor? The answer, more than you think. And more than you'd hope. Mm. Mash. Mash. Almost out. Woo. I did it. Oh god. That was lame. Optimus, the core is going critical. It's gonna keep on pumping out more and more power until it blows. How bad? Planetary extinction. No one escapes. The insecticons and the plasma core are uh, two of three components. I hate the mashing buttons, but I love mashing buttons in fighting game games. But mashing mashing buttons on pad is like it's it's an experience. Uh oh, sound a wave. It matters. It matters a lot, actually, Grim. I really like the War for Cybertron games because they they have like little cute nods to the movies and stuff. 
Because I think there's like a really fun scene where like Grimlock and um, Slug are arguing over something that's from the movie. Or from the 80s movie, I should say. I know bots in the live action movies only have much of a personality. But then again, they'll do a lot of things made in those movies. Hey yo! Except unless it's Bumblebee. Like the movie Bumblebee. I feel like a lot of movie Bumblebee has a bit too much and not enough personality. If you know what I mean? Okay. So I'm probably gonna switch over to, um... AG Transformers is kind of the point, you know, it's all, it's all about, like, a giant, like, million-year intergalactic war, but, like, I like this series to be kind of dumb, but I feel like for, like, some series they have a bit of a weird tonal shift, like, specifically between, um, the Prime cartoon and, um, that, uh, and Robots in Disguise from 2015, there's, like, two different versions of it, which is very confusing. Don't ask me why. It is a matter of writing, but I feel like it doesn't do it justice at all, which is the problem. If you're gonna have a tonal shift, like, at least commit to some of your, like, um, previously established aesthetic. Or try to make it a work in a, a very like, a very interesting way, because the one thing that's my problem is that, like, um, the War for Cybertron games and the, um, Prime cartoon and its sequel, um, what's, what's the name? What was in Disguise? Are all one part of one giant narrative. And the problem with that comes in the fact that, um, they kind of try to get around a lot of things kind of poorly. Which is... A real bummer. I think they could have done a lot more with it, but they didn't really. What if I can nail that from here? Oh, I don't have a long-range weapon anymore. Okay! So this is where things get interesting, because I can't shoot that, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's hammer time, baby. After all this time. Begin attack. Phase one. Wheeljack, keep preparing. It appears we have company. I could use some assistance. Please, like, get up close and hit him. Alright. Ah, oh, my, my combo! That's one. Let me just torch you a little bit, bro. here guys beat it thanks oh 
Oh, that works? Hello. I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, these are small boys. Trying to get it on these bugs' faces. Blammo! Oh, good. Ooh Love it! Oh, God. We got big boys in the building. Where are they? Oh god. I'm trying! Oh god, I'm gonna lose this. I need a faster guy. Grimlock's fun, but I need someone faster. Yeah. I need someone way faster. And, um, spoilers, we're probably not gonna be using Grimlock much longer, because at the next part we have to switch over, so I'm gonna change characters. Let me, uh, set weapons really fast. Uh, I'm gonna take this off of him. I'll leave the hammer and the heavy spread shot, though. Because I wanna... Must be stopped. Change up things. Instead of these twin thermal swords, take this. Drills I can probably keep. Steel sword's pretty good. Cryo sword. And cryo swords, cryo gloves. Is there any other uh, weapon I can buy, actually? Uh, yeah, after this point, I kind of actually can't use him. I want the Shock Sword. This looks really sick. Uh, Twin Battle Swords, Heavy Machine Gun, Thermal Hammer, Basic Missiles. <sighs> Ooh. Shotty too hotty. I kind of want this Fusion Cannon. I'm gonna buy it. Steel Sword. Okay. Let's try it like this. Uh, which Transformers are the most and least valid and why? Um, I, I like Optimus a lot, but Optimus is a cop, unfortunately. Um, Soundwave is really valid. I love Soundwave. I'm working on it! Luckily, those go through shields. And it stuns. Uh, Bumblebee is pretty valid, depending on the situation. Um, who else is pretty valid? Depending on which Megatron, you can be kind of valid, because there are, like... There's a heroic Megatron, actually. There we go. Optimus is the best character to use. He's so versatile. And he does a lot of damage, too. He's the, pretty much the, the jack-of-all-trades in this game. Luckily, at, at the end of this game, you get a weapon that's like... It makes fighting these shield guys a non-issue. But it's at the end of the game. 
which is kind of a pain. Um, it depends. Because, um, in the IDW comics from 2005, he starts out that way. But then he just kind of gets worse and worse as time goes on. Then he kind of moves back around. Working on it. There we go. Oh, I forgot to load up the gun. This is a Magneto love stream, by the way. That's my granddad. <laughs> Magneto rules, honestly. I love him. Trying! Uh oh. Claw too? Sick. Haha! <laughs> Hello. Let's just clear out these guys first. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. I feel like um Megatron is not Megatron, Magneto is way more valid than uh either of them. Because, Megatron, we gotta fight you to stop you from ruining other lives. And here's our elevator sequence, essentially. Ruby has gotta have one. Whoop. Hey. I hope we can get the really sick thing to happen in, uh, in the Megatron boss. Well, you don't kick back. Oh, love that. I should play more beat em ups on stream. I love beat em ups to death. I didn't go up with a lot of them, but I really love playing them. Like, I played, um. I played the Scott Pilgrim beat em up as a kid, and that really kind of solidified it. If you want to play River City Girls, I kind of want to buy it, but I don't want to, like, spend money on it. Not in a, not in a, uh, just in a, I don't want to, like, blow my money on, like, things that I, uh, things for, like, the stream. This might it being my job and all. You know, I, I just feel guilt about that. Like, high key. No, you don't. What Oh, it didn't kill it. Wrong button. Ow. Ow again. Oh, sick. So you can do that over the you can do that shot thing too when you're dodging. Which I haven't actually done an, a, after a, a, up until this point. Hell yeah, bro. Let's get this item over here. Oh, that's just the way forward. This is 
the item. And a portal, which I'm not going to use. Why? Because I've never done them before. I'm not going to do them on this difficulty, because I'm a coward. Do you think a sentry bot is going to stop me? Uh, hopefully soon. I like that stupid robot arm. Robot arm. I love you, cold, unfeeling robot arm. Hold still. <gasps> no. <gasps> oh, no. Ow. Oh god. Oh no! I, I, I have done goofed. Wish I'd stunned it. There we go, there's the stun. The rest of people this thing can get stunned, I don't know. And I'm out of energon! Wrong button. I am Pericket S. I don't have any uh, insta repel. Let me actually put up skill and rank. I'm not sure what that does, but, you know. Might as well, you know, this is, this is the end of the game. Ah, there we go. C. C for sentry. <laughs> Boom. Show me. Are you even trying to stop him? <laughs> you have to play some Sebdicons in this game. That'd be cool. But I guess this is kind of a, uh, a Decepticons bad, Autobots good type of dealy. Will you get down from there? Not this time. Yeah, Energon. That's what they called John Lennon on Cybertron. <laughs> Energon. This is a dumb bit. <laughs> but you know me, I'm all about dumb bits. Ah, uh, dodge too early. Nope. I wish they'd stop blowing me up when I'm busy trying to fight this big boy. Rude ass. I'm gonna get that uh, other weapon that I missed. Cause I meant to put on the, uh, the what's it called? I meant to put on a, a gun I bought. These are the junk we got. Weapons. Instead of this uh, grenade launcher, let's put on, um, we we'll can put up the shockwave plaster.
Yeah, that's probably a better one. Actually, let me put on the other one I wanted. Where is it? I think it's like further down. <laughs> this basic blaster is actually better than it. Shock sniper rifle, Glock seal launcher, free sniper rifle. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> Cutscene. Me no like this place. Something smells funny. I agree, old friend. I can sense it. The darkness. I can feel Nova Prime. The goodness within him. The nobility of his mission. To cyberform uninhabited worlds. To bring life to the galaxy. But something went wrong. A darkness fell over him. God, I wish I could have fought Nova Prime in this game. Something Look at this final, like, boss. This, this Virgil. But only after encountering some singular entity. Something bent not just on destruction, but our destruction. And Nova Prime sent it in our direction. Real. out there now. Searching and destroying its way to Cybertron. Nova Prime? One of our own? Really went bad on us? It appears so. Teletran 1, find us a way to... I love this bit. This is a cool bit. This cargo lift can be used to reach the control room. Like, he is a cop, but at least he's one of those... Uh, you know what? Nah. I would say he's one of those hotshot cops, but that's kind of lame, too. But I love that. It's really that good. Do it. Just blows it up. Here he is! Sounded wave. Oh god. There we go. Yeah, honestly. Oh no. I guess I took out a uh, frenzy. This is Rumble. No, wait, that was frenzy. <laughs> don't let him escape this time. He sure won't. No, I don't want to use that. I want to use this. Someone should always have that ability to do the oscillator wave attack. Because it's a sick attack. Flying, bro. I do you mind. Ah, 
I love this combo game. It's kind of simple, but it's fun. It feels good to do. Yeah! I love it. It's so good. We will arrive any moment now. I think this is the first time, like, I've seen G1 Optimus, like, lay Soundwave out. Alright. Hey, And for our troubles, we get... The Loudspeaker. Now hear this. And here's Endgame! I'm gonna try out, uh... The loudspeaker. I don't think anything better than Devastator's drills that I have. The steel sword. Thermal cutters. Twin thermal swords. You want to go with this one? We in there? So, Soundwave has fallen. It hardly matters now. Decepticons keep them busy! We've almost won! We are almost there. Time to crash the party. <laughs> I I love the way I, I love Optimus' voice. Like he's so clearly hero man. The real question is, where does Optimus' trailer go, like, when, uh, when he's, when he transforms? Yeah, honestly, honestly. Um. It's his ass. Don't say that. He carries a tank in there. Oh. Info logs. There's a bunch of info logs you could really read up on. I'm gonna use this uh, speed thing. I'm gonna go a little faster. Get a little stronger. Oh god. Really? Well, you don't. Ha! No sweat. Grab all this stuff around the here. Is going to stand in our way. Let's repair kit, a couple of these. Oh god. Hey, Motormaster. Oh, God. Oh, I don't have any, uh, oh, I guess that'd be where I help comes from. Oh no! 
Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead for realsies. I'm dead for realsies. Let me take care of the little runts first. Ooh! Double flash kick! Let's go! enough of you. Oh, you survived. I guess you are a, a, a named Decepticon, so you should be pretty tough. Stands to reason. <laughs> C for kind of okay. Yes, kind of starts with C. This is just a, a boss rush, really. An enemy rush, I suppose. Guys, wouldn't hurt to get a little closer. It just didn't take so long to reload. Ooh, sweep the leg. Oh, I asked that question earlier. And I'm not sure. I don't even think the people who make the show are sure. Because in the, in the original cartoon, it just kind of disappeared. No one really asked about it, like, in-universe. It just kind of went, came and went. And, um, in Summer Universe, it's actually just a, a, a second thing, where it's like a kind of a battle station. It's used a couple of times because like an autonomous, uh, like a drone. Ow. Pay an auto repair, I think. Yes! We're not gonna die anymore! There we go. I just gotta run I just gotta ride around like a dingus and I win. Let no one stand in our way. Gotta grab a bunch of these. These are coming handy a lot in the last fight. The last fight's actually pretty sick. It's a Megatron refight, but we'll, we'll get there when we get there. It has some really cool like ideas in it. The end game is in sight. Attack! Not this time. Get back 
down here. Oh, that's side sweat. All right. There we go. B rank. Brink. As it were. Earth will not die by your hand, Megatron. Starscream failed. Guess that makes me the new leader of the Decepticons. Anybody else want this job? <laughs> Hi, Hi, Thundercracker. They're just like knockoff star screams. They fight the exact same way as Starscream, there's just two now. Ooh, look at that health bar switch! I like Skywarp's design. I know he's the same as Starscream, but I've always liked Thunder uh, uh, Skywarp. Thundercracker's alright. I just like uh, Skywarp a little bit more. Handle that. Thundercracker's not a coward, he's just kind of not as villainous as the other Decepticons. He'll do what he has to, but he's not like super enthused about it. In the IDW comics, he actually stops being a Decepticon and like lives on Earth with his pet dog and writes screenplays. <laughs> I forgot to mention, um, status. So here's everything you can really do, but if you see this thing over here on the side, check this out. If I press Y, I can boost this thing to upgrade uh, certain parameters. I'd be evil for pay. I'd be evil for pay. I'm already gay for free. <laughs> As you saw there, we're about to fight the Constructicons. So evil that's like oppressing cishets, because that's my favorite kind of evil. It's not evil, it's more or less justified, but you know what I mean. Magneto evil for free isn't really evil, it's just, you know, it's protecting your best interests. And the best interests of people like you. No, you don't! denial he's just right like let's be real here if I were a Holocaust survivor and people out here were doing the exact same thing to other people for the sake of them being different I'd be upset too I'd be pissed too because you know what that's what's happening right now that it was a, it, it gave me a lot more real because it's it's, it's real now
Like, I want to burn the entire system down if that happened to me. <laughs> no, you don't. God, Ultimus Magneto is the worst. I haven't talked about comic books a lot, but god, I read like all of ult like most of Ultimates in one big wide burst at one point. And oh god, it's terrible. There's good parts in there, but like by and large, it's garbage. Like actually trash. I think I remember the crossover between the uh, Avengers and and the Transformers was pretty good too. I think the plot of the entire comic was Megatron is like, "Hey, uh, we need uh, some things to help us out. What we're we gonna do? Oh, I know. We'll use Spider-Man as radioactive blood to do something. I forget exactly the exact uh, specifics, but I know it involved Meg uh, Spider-Man's radioactive blood, his radioactive spider blood." Radioactive spider power. Delanau. Delanau. Here they come. Let me just uh, heal up a little bit. I'm gonna save my uh, AoE attack for later. Or I will use this. No! I thought I got command grabbed. I need his- I need blood. Blood of Spider-Man. They actually do a, um, one of the shots in the comic crossover is the- is that comic cover of Spider-Man and, uh, Megatron. Like, um, old Megatron, where he has still have the black bucket head and the gray one. Let me take care of Devastator first. Oh! Sweet Jesus! Almost got him. There. One done, one to go. Get owned, idiot! Woo! He'll live, he's a robot, it's fine. I wish we could have more healing items, but I understand why. <laughs> you know? 
When you put it that way, it really is like that, isn't it? I got an S rank. I'm the sickest. Megatron headed for the surface, and he took the Barataxes with him. Then that is where we go. Autobots, roll out. Meanwhile, on the surface, it's time for one of the coolest fights in like Platinum history, in my opinion. But then again, I'm biased because I kind of like the series. This arena is pretty cool. We will find a way to save Cybertron. But I cannot allow you to destroy Earth. We should have been allies, you know. Imagine what we could have accomplished. But you never had the manifolds to do what needed to be done. I have the manifolds to stand up for those who cannot. Stand yeah, that, that would be a B plot to something like this, wouldn't it? Texas. We will use it to bring our culture and our history back to Cybertron, where it belongs. You have made a great discovery. Let us use it wisely. I thought you were made of sterner stuff, Optimus. Boss time. If you want it, you'll have to take me down to get it. Look at that flash! That flash stepping! Such a cool way to fight. I love his Akuma dodge. Say no to drugs while playing Dungeons and Dragons. Oh god. Let me heal. Yeah. It's very uh again it's a it's 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 a Kuma dodge. Hold on, I'm gonna settle the score, hell yeah. I didn't notice that before. Let me in. I'm really using my X button a lot more. Because it's faster attacks. The only thing I like is speed, baby. Hell yeah. Megatron. If I can't have the Barotaxis, no one can. No. Time to go to space. Look at this sick jump, by the way. Ali, you. 
Yeah! Got mad hops! He can just fly. Excuse me. So remember that uh, space bridge battle we had before? This is kind of the sequel to it. I will not let you take victory away from me. Why must you always interfere? You would play Cybertron at the center of the universe. Cybertron is the center of my universe. How is it not the heart of yours? Cybertron. Is about all life. This project to keep Cybertron on life support. I love this uh, dialogue, though. It's very good, but I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning his clock so fast that it's hard for me to get a, a word in edgewise. I wish I could get that, um... Oh, no. A short final boss, but what are you gonna do? You already beat him before, so we might as well make it shorter. It will not let me shut down the Insecticons. Megatron, what have you done? One last fail safe in order to shut down the Ferrotaxis. <laughs> You must destroy <laughs> it. Rocher. You hold the fate of Cybertron in your hands. It hand. really is. You are correct, Megatron. And I have the courage to make the right decision. No! Kablooey! We did it. We saved the world. Bunch of dead bugs flying out of the sky. Man, it sure is glad the humans had to evacuate. What have you done? The humans will decide their own fate. Now we're a meteor. Autobots, we have lived on Earth for decades. But I see now that we have not truly accepted Earth as our home, holding out some distant hope that we would return to a newly reforged Cybertron. And maybe one day that will happen. But we cannot continue to live in between worlds. From this day forward, we are no longer Cybertronians who are strapped. It really just made a big explosion. It's fine. No, they evacuated the city somehow. Don't don't ask me how they did it. And 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 lo, did Optimus fall into the oceans just outside of South America? How are you recovering, Optimus? I will live, thank you. Fortunately, it appears that Earth will as well. Have you found a way to strengthen our forces? As I said, it's not without risks. I was thinking about what I was told. The prophecy on the proud star. Yeah, it happens. That there is a way to end the war. Incoming transmission. I wonder how big of a splash that would make if he landed straight in the um, 
Oh, land in the water and what if we make a big like a uh, tsunami or something? To help too. You don't have to do this alone. To finally rid Earth of the Decepticons. This might just be the price we I have to pay. Uh oh. Is that a combiner Optimus? Yes. I want a sequel to this game really bad. It's had a lot of really cool ideas, but I don't know if we'll ever get one, and that's a bummer. Real, that's what it is. It was released around the same time during the whole Combiner War thing, so it was of the it was of the era. Now, this is a nice uh, fight. It's a pretty good song. It's very 80s. But yeah, that's Transformers Devastation. I play this game like... Yeah, it, it does feel like a, a, a G1 episode, to be real. Wait, why are... Oh, it's both. Oh, yeah! That, um... That little uh, guitar riff, that's lifted straight from the, um... Vince Coppola um, movie soundtrack. Da 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 da. Yeah, that's from uh, the movie, the '80s movie. I wouldn't mind seeing a Platinum May TV show. That'd be sick. I just love like all the models look. They're all so beautifully and well made. It's it's amazing. I I'd love another game like this with this kind of art style, but you know, it'll probably be a while before they even make another Transformers game that isn't like you know a, a mobile tie-in because Activision is just idiots. I mean, Hasbro's making their own games now. I think they have their own Hasbro gaming division, so maybe. Anything's possible, I guess, but it's going to be for a while. Yeah, they're alive. They're alive. They just got blown up a little bit. It's fine. They're robots. They'll, they'll recover. They'll repair. I mean, Optimus landed, like, from space into, like, the Atlantic and survived. I think they'll be fine. Yeah, I, I want to play more Platinum games. I'm super excited to play one for one when it comes out on May, if it's still coming out in May. But with all this crazy stuff with the uh, Corona, I'm not sure if it'll be on time. But if it is, then I'll play it. I'll try to play it day one. If I have the money, anyway. If you want to help support that, uh, I have links down below, and you can uh, support me doing a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Uh, I need to kind of beef out my uh, Patreon at some point, try to make things a little bit more um, alluring. Well, I'll work on it when I get some feedback. I'll probably ask some people, ask around with some people, because this is really all I'm gonna do. Like, just do run VODs or stuff like that. I, I might do other things too here and there, but I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. I'll be also working on smaller projects with a friend of mine pretty soon. But uh, it's, it's gonna be a little bit before that all comes to fruition, because we're all because we're both kind of we're, we're, our, our our schedules aren't exactly in sync, to put it bluntly. Brightness Wars fan trick or ten dollars. I'd do that. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'd make a better one than James Roberts made. You know, I actually kind of have a Transformers OC. They're a uh, a, a, a chopper called Spin Cycle. Peter Cullen, Eeyore himself, uh, 
Uh, I haven't actually done a lot of work with them, other than just have them as an OC. I have a lot of OCs I really don't do a lot of stuff with, because I have, like, very little artistic capabilities to speak of. I have ideas, though. And I've, like, written some stuff about them, but not a whole lot. Yeah, there's that scene. We're just gonna, just, like, scene that, put uh, that on screen, because I love that. This one. That's so cool. Uh, no, just a, uh, just, just a, just a chopper. A rescue chopper. I'm not sure exactly what their, uh, exact, uh, design would be. I'll, I'll get an exact model probably soon when I'm thinking this up, because I don't want to make, make, work on my OC some more. But here's the, uh, the sequel bait before I, uh, switch over to, what's it called, to Link Between Worlds and we beat that, too. Meanwhile, in the Proud Star, deep in its guts, who could it be? <gasps> it's Nova Prime! Oh no. Evil. Now we get the uh, Fusion Cannon, Megatron's Fusion Cannon, and the Star Saber from uh, Prime. And that's just from Resident Station. A really, really good uh, character action game that you can't buy anymore, unfortunately. But them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Let me change uh, the ticker and we'll open up uh, Link Between Worlds. We'll finally put a, put the kibosh on uh, this video game. Got everything we need to, my, barring heart pieces. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 